What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ back with another Destiny video. Now if you guys don't know, a guy on YouTube called Kinsale92 uploaded a video of him playing Destiny and it bugged out and it revealed all new content including new story missions, new strikes and new raids. Now if you guys want to check out the original video, it is linked at the top of that video description so check it out. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, I'm going to actually read through everything that we see in this video and give you guys my thoughts on it all but if, before we start can I just state if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy destiny content make sure you subscribe also if you could help this video out with a like I do really appreciate the support but let's just get into this now the details from the video we see shit on earth moon venus mars reef and the crucible we're going to start with earth and we've got a new strike which requires you to be level 10 and it's called the jovian complex a new hive brood gathers in strength beneath the cosmodrome find their master and purge them all we have a new story mission which requires you to be level 18 called the veil lifted root out the hive beneath the cosmodrome and discover a long hidden secret of the golden age we have a new story mission which requires you to be level 18 called the seeding Investigate the return of ancient hive wizards preparing earth for Crota's reign. Another new story mission which requires you to be level 20 called Gun to Ground. Find a wolf's baron and his conspirators who have betrayed the queen and are hiding in the Cosmodrone. Now moving on to the moon we have a new strike which requires you to be level 14 called the House of Wolves which actually has no description. We have another new strike which requires you to be level 26 called the Summoning Picks. Exorder on where the your arrival at the bottom of the Hellmouth. This is actually part of an exotic bounty for the Thorn hand pistol or hand cannon. We have a new raid on the moon which requires you to be level 28 called Crota's End. He waits in the dark below and we have a new story mission on the moon which requires you to be level 20 called The Awakening. Stop the Hive from summoning Crota and consuming our worlds which sounds pretty badass. Now moving on to Venus we have a new story mission which requires you to be level 20 called Wolves Harvest. Now you need to track down the Queen's traitorous wolves and recover what they've stolen from the Awoken. We have another story mission on Venus which requires you to be level 22 called the Citadel. Ascend to the top of the Vex stronghold on Venus and assassinate the Wolves Kel. On Mars we have a new strike which requires you to be level 20. The Hypogeum. The resurrection of the Black Garden has begun. Stop the Vex before the heart beats again. Now on the reef we have a new raid which requires you to be level 20 which actually has no description. Now moving on to crucible. Uh, what we know news here is the iron banner which we actually we can't select at this present time. But we know the iron banner we know about that. But we also have something called skirmish competitive multiplayer. Now this is a, what I'm guessing is what the leaked uh, sheet that we saw a few weeks back about. I think it was mercury and earning tokens to go to Mercury but if you lose three times or something you get kicked and you have to do it all again or something like that I'm not too sure but still this video proves that we have a lot of shit coming to Destiny it also proves that it's probably already implemented into the game and as soon as that DLC comes and hits we're going to be able to activate all this shit so I can't wait I'm so hyped for this shit what do you guys think let me know down below don't forget, check out Kinsale92, his channel and the video, the original video is linked at the top of that video description if you want to see him actually going through all of this. But let me know your thoughts on this down below, don't forget drop a like on the video, I do appreciate the support and it really does help out. Thanks as always though for watching and peace out until next time. Peace.